Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing yet another speed test comparison of two mid-range devices. We have the OnePlus Nord 4 and a lot of you have been asking us to compare or do the speed test with the OnePlus 11R. Now OnePlus 11R was launched last year but now with uh, discounts and other offers it is uh, priced uh, much below. Uh, in fact uh, below the 35,000 price segment. In fact it came up below the 30,000 price segment as well. So in this video we'll be cooking so in this video we will be quickly looking at uh, the speed test of these two devices and see which performs better. This is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip while this is the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 chip. So both are really a powerful chips. So let's go to the about phone of these two devices. Uh, about device. So both are Oxygen OS 14 but this is 14.1 this is 14.0. Now the OnePlus 11R Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and this is Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 and uh, this has 5500 mAh battery that's not going to impact but this is 12 gigs of RAM, this is 16 gigs of RAM, Android version is 14 on both the devices. So that's the hardware. Now, this is UFS 4.1, especially because this is 256 gigabyte variant LPDDR 5X RAM. This is LPDDR 5X RAM, but this is UFS 3.1 storage. So that's one of the differences. So let's uh, just clear off all the background apps. So there you go. We just cleared off all the background apps. So none of the apps are running in the background. And let's uh, also see the network uh, connection. So you can see here both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And both are in airplane mode as well. So let's start the test. So let's first open Asphalt uh, Legend Unite. So let's see which opens this faster. So Nord 4 has taken the lead here. But let's see which opens this faster. So you can see here Nord 4 has opened the game faster than the OnePlus uh, 11R. Now 11R is taking a bit of time here. So you can see finally it has opened. So that's the uh, first game. Then next let's go to the uh, BGMI game. So once again Nord 4 has taken the lead here. There you go, Nord 4 opens it faster. So both the games, Nord 4 uh, takes the lead. Next is uh, Play Store. Once again, Nord 4 is faster. Chrome browser, again, Nord is faster. Facebook, again, Nord is faster. Twitter, again, Nord is faster. Nord is faster again. Spotify, again, Nord is faster. Amazon, Almost same time I would say. Flipkart. Probably again almost same time. File manager. Almost same time. Settings. Almost same time. YouTube. Again Nord is faster. Gmail. Nord is faster. Nord once again takes the lead. And finally Maps. So once again Nord is faster. So Nord uh, uh, 4 uh, comprehensively beats the OnePlus 11R in terms of opening of apps. But you have to consider that this is almost one and a half years old device. Multiple updates have come. So that will definitely have an impact on the performance. So this is an older device almost more than a half, one and a half years old device. But this is new device. So that impact will be there. Now next let's see the memory management. Now uh, OnePlus 11R has 16 gigs of RAM. So will that have an impact? Let's see that. So as of now, all the apps are available in the memory. So there you go. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Chrome browser. Now going to the games. Both have uh, retained the game. And finally, Asphalt. So Asphalt has been reloaded on both the devices. So again, memory management is equally good on both the phones. Now we have enabled the performance mode uh, on both the devices. So again, uh, they are uh, pretty much similar in terms of uh, the experience. So there you go. So next, uh, let's uh, see the speed test. So let's open the network uh, testing. So there you go. We have. Uh, so we have enabled uh, the testing so let's start with uh, Nord 4 so you could see very similar results here so network speed is uh, quite similar now let's go to the antidote benchmark uh, here so here you can see here 
12 lakh 93,000. This is 12 lakh 62,000. So in terms of synthetic benchmark, uh, as of now the uh, the uh, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is leading. So let's just go to the individual scores. So you can see here GPU is more powerful here. Uh, rest all you can see here very similar results uh, uh, but now the differentiating aspect is a storage test so here you can see a 1,66,000 while this is 67,000 this UFS 3.1 this UFS 4.0 so that's a major difference in terms of storage aspect and finally let's go to the Geekbench test uh, let's um, uh, see the values here so you can see here uh, 1,876, 1,7 uh, Two six. This is four nine eight five and four two eight two. So once again, in terms of synthetic benchmark, the Snapdragon Seven Plus Gen Three uh, takes the lead when compared to the One Plus Eleven R with the Snapdragon Eight Plus Gen One. So that is the speed test comparison of these two devices. So you can see here in terms of performance, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is definitely good and it's comparable or in fact more than uh, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So pretty good experience overall on the OnePlus Nord 4. So that is the speed test comparison of these two devices. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.